As wedding photographers, we're expected to get those really dreamy photos with the blurry backgrounds. And so in this video, I'm gonna share five tips on how to maximize that bokeh effect and make sure you get those dreamy looking photos for your couples. Tip number one is to increase the distance between your subject and the background. So basically, if you were to take a picture of somebody in front of a wall, that's, let's say just a couple feet behind them, and compare that to a photo of somebody, let's say in a forest with the trees that are multiple miles away, you would get a much more profound blurry background effect on the photo of the subject with the trees in the background because the trees are so much further away from the plane of focus, and that just amplifies that blurry background effect. Tip number two is to get closer to your subject. I don't know the whole science behind this. It's really just magic to me, but basically if you get closer to your subject, the background just disappears. So if you look behind me, there's like a whiteboard to my right side. And if I get closer to the camera, you're gonna notice the closer I get, the more blurred out the background gets. And you basically can't even see the whiteboard at this point. Again, it's magic to me, but this is my favorite way of increasing that blurry background effect. It's just getting closer to the subject. Tip number three is to shoot with a telephoto lens. So basically anything 50 millimeters and above is really good at destroying the background and just giving you this intense blur. And honestly, my favorite lens to shoot with is the 85 millimeter, but if I'm in a tight spot, the 50 millimeter is perfect and still gives me that really dreamy effect no matter where I go. So my suggestion would be to pick up at least a 50 millimeter or an 85 millimeter if you really wanna get that intense bokeh look. Tip number four is to shoot with a fast aperture lens. So basically if you're shooting with an f2.8 lens and you were to upgrade to an f1.8 lens, you would see a much more significant increase in the background blur because shooting at 1.8 when compared to 2.8, you have a much thinner plane of focus, which means more in the picture will be out of focus. And that ultimately contributes to that more background blur effect. But even shooting with an f2.8 lens, you can still get really good background blur, especially when you're applying the other tips that we talked about. But if it's within your means, within your budget, I would definitely recommend picking up a 1.8, let's say 50 millimeter or an 85 millimeter, and you're gonna be pretty impressed with the amount of blur that you get in your photos. Tip number five is to use a full frame camera. Now, I'm not saying that you need full frame to get a really awesome looking photo because there are many photographers that take awesome images with really blurred background effect on a crop sensor camera, but this is again, one of those that I don't know the full magic behind it, but because the full frame camera does have a bigger sensor size, it does have an impact on the bokeh effect on your photos, which since we're covering the tips to improve your bokeh, I wanted to include this, even though it's not necessary, this is gonna help to increase that bokeh effect in your photos. 